The election last year brought a lot of uncertainty for our industry, but uh, voters did send one resounding message, which is that they want to see marijuana laws change in this country. We're here on the Hill today, over 250 members strong, calling on Congress and the administration to treat our businesses fairly. This is NCIA's seventh annual Cannabis Industry Lobby Days. We've got nearly 250 cannabis professionals from all over the country coming here to really put a human face on this industry. When we have our members here telling their stories and helping bring new members of Congress on board, that gives us a stronger base to build on, to pressure the administration, and to make sure that they understand the economic benefits and the popular support that our industry has. One of the things that's fantastic about NCIA, before anyone lands in DC and is gonna have these lobbying meetings, people are prepared. NCIA has committed full-time professionals that are here to support us, they teach us, they train us on what to say, what the topics are, so that we feel really well prepared when we're in conversation. I'm actually excited for the opportunity to work with the administration to help them understand why it is legitimate medical patients who need this medicine and that adults should be allowed to be adults. So I am excited. We are walking the halls of Congress and educating lawmakers and their staffers on the impact and implications of federal cannabis policy in states that have regulated cannabis programs. And really just sort of presenting ourselves, introducing ourselves as a legitimate industry that wants to be compliant, that wants to be treated like any other business and that we're here and we are politically active, we are involved and we're not gonna go away. This is an extremely highly regulated industry. And anytime you've got a very highly regulated industry, you need a strong community standing up for those businesses and making sure that these regulations are practical, are solving the problems that may exist without creating new ones. Taking somebody's liberty for smoking marijuana is archaic, and it's similar to prohibition. We are the best of our industry, and so we need to be out there fighting the fights that only we can fight. And I think a, a lot of time, energy, and resources need to be put into aligning the fears, thoughts, and concerns of people that just don't understand the industry in general and have been guided and ruled by fear. I wholeheartedly believe that we're currently changing the world, and we're going to successfully change the world for the better here in the future. We've had a couple of meetings today and they've gone from neutral to warm. Things have shifted tremendously from when I first started coming here uh, about six years ago to lobby for my first time and the fact that we're uh, being asked questions when we go into these meetings, we're not being pushed out of the room, people aren't laughing at us, is, is a lot further than we, than we used to be. Cannabis can completely turn these communities around and, and then this year we're seeing West Virginia starting to make moves with cannabis. And last year the staffer that we met with, they, they really hadn't even heard of the issue. So there, there's real effect that happens and it's, it's great to see. This is brand new and being able to help build an industry in the image that we want to see is an incredible opportunity that just doesn't come along very often. Please come and join us uh, in Washington, D.C. And, and get involved so your voice can be heard and you can help change laws too.